Good morning, everybody. Here we are on Friday the 25th of September. It's a wet and wild and windy day outside, but we're here to celebrate some of the good things that have happened this week. I don't know if you feel the same, but it feels as though days move very, very quickly in the COVID time zone, and it feels as though a lot happens, and it's very easy to forget what happened yesterday, and it feels as though Monday was a lifetime ago. Certainly, so much is happening all the time that it's really tricky to keep track of everything, but there's still lots to celebrate. Let's start with birthdays this week. Last week, there were loads of people who had a birthday, and this week, it's a much quieter one. So we're giving a big happy birthday mention to Georgia Lenton, whose birthday it was yesterday, turned 10 yesterday. You hit double figures for the first time, Georgia. And a happy birthday today for Evelyn, Evelyn Owen in the Pines class. Congratulations, it's your birthday. Have a lovely day, and I hope you let us know what prezzies you get. Okay. Let's move on to the attendance for the week. So the last two weeks, you might remember, Pines class have been winning the trophy. Here it is behind me, it's ready. Is it gonna go back to Pines or is it gonna move house this week? Well, interestingly, Pines have still kept a really good attendance. You can see the chart, 97.8 or 9% there it was, 97.9% .9 attendance but they've just been beaten by the Maples. Maples, you held off a late charge by the Cedars this week who hit 98% and you have 98.5%. So well done to you. You'll be getting the trophy after this assembly has finished recording. Okay, house points. A huge turnaround in house points this week. It's been really exciting. So in fourth place last week, you might remember, were the Dragons. And in third place last week were Phoenixes in second place were serpents, and in first place were eagles. But there have been some change arounds. Eagles have gone from first place down to fourth place. You have 125 points. Don't worry, eagles, you can fix it next week. And it's not like you've been bad, it's just that everybody else has been even better. In third place are the dragons with 130 points. So you're only five points ahead of those eagles, and they'll be hot on your tails next week. In second place with 136 points are the Serpents. So well done to Serpents, you've kept your second place. And that means in first place, for the first time in a long time, are the Phoenixes, who've gone from 66 points last week to a whopping 143 house points this week, which is absolutely incredible. Congratulations to you, Phoenixes. That's really, really good. Now then, a few shout outs here. I want to say a big well done to Xavier. Xavier in Poplar's class has been going home after a busy day of school and has taken it upon himself to carry on with the summer learning book that he, that he got. He's been working hard and actually, you can see here in the photograph, he's been doing it when most people at the end of the day are shattered and they're done, they don't wanna do anything else, they just want to call it quits for the day but Xavier's got the bit between his teeth and he's really trying hard. And that was so lovely to see that. And we thank Mum for sending that picture in to us. We're proud of you as well, Xavier. So well done to you, young man. Uh, I'd also like to say a good luck to Daniel Doughty in the Maples class, because Daniel, I think you're starting Polish school tomorrow. Now, a long time ago, when I used to teach in a different school, I had a little girl in year one who was called Veronica, and I think she was going to a Polish school on a Saturday morning, and she came up to me on the Friday and she said, Mr. Wright, I really don't want to go. And she was a bit nervous about it, and she wasn't sure that she wanted to go to school six days a week. But actually, when she came back on the Monday, I told her to tell me all about it. And she said it was brilliant because she learned so many different things and it didn't quite feel like school because it was on a Saturday morning. And I just wanted to say to you, Daniel, come and tell Mrs. Ennis and come and tell Mrs. Robinson and Mrs. Murdoch and myself how it was on Monday. Let us know how it was because it's really exciting. You're gonna be learning all sorts of new things. And I think there'll be quite a lot of people who'd be quite impressed that you can speak more than one language, Daniel. That is really impressive. So good luck tomorrow. Okay, a message about homework. So what we've been doing over the last few weeks is giving you a bit of time to settle in. You might have been given little odd bits of homework or get going with you know little codes here or find something out there or have some spelling sent to you, but we haven't been sending it home uh, properly because what we're trying to do is we're trying to get everything set up onto Google Classrooms for you. Now, 
We've been given now all your usernames, and that means that we're nearly ready to go uh, and get you signed up over the next week or two. But the teachers and I are just trying to find the best way to actually set the homework so it's easy for you to access and to mark. What we don't want to be doing is sending you a photograph of a textbook or a picture that you can't really see or things that you can't really do. So that we're going to have a little try in school to find the best way to do it so that when we set it out to you, it's all really clear and easy to do. Then there are a few new codes and a few new things for you, like we've got times table rock stars for some classes, accelerated reader for children in year three upwards, and that nearly everybody will be able to take their tests at home alone, um, or at home with their parents, I should say. Um, Ed Shed for spellings, Numbots for the Key Stage 1 children. There's loads of new little programs that we've bought. They're going to take a little bit of time to get used to. And obviously, we'll help parents and we'll help you children get used to them. We'll practice them in school as well. And we can go through parents. But once we're logged on and once we get going with it, it'll be fine. Just be patient over the next few weeks as we get started. Google Classrooms is quite easy when we get the, hand, the hand, a handle on, on it. Um, and that's what we're going to be doing in the next couple of weeks. And then we'll get into a good rhythm. Okie dokie. So I think you're waiting for the winner's wall. Let's get started. We're going to go in reverse age order today. We're going to start off with Cedar's class. So Mrs. Crozier and Mrs. Lomas have chosen Charlie Doughty. And Charlie is a very fun and um, he's an entertaining young man because he has a good sense of humour. But what, what they've chosen for this week is somebody who's been really brave. This week, Charlie, well, and since you've come back to school, you've been getting some headaches, but you've just been getting on with it. And actually, you've always struggled a little bit with your headaches, since uh, certainly since I've known you. But you seem to never let it affect your good sense of humour and the good mood. You carry on, you battle through, and even during, you know, your 11 plus and things like that, you've just carried on and you've done really well. So well done to you. Big smile on your face puts a big smile on our face. So well done, Charlie. In the Oaks class, Mrs. Metcalf and Mrs. Robinson have chosen Freya Lewis. And it's a well done to Freya because not only have you had a good few days, you've made a brilliant start to this term, Freya. You come in with a great attitude, positive, ready to learn, and everybody's really, really impressed. So well done, Freya. And I'm impressed with a big smile on your face as I came to take photo of you today. So well done to you. Moving down to the Maples class. This is a young man who is rising to the challenge of class of Maples class year three. Well done to Harry Jarman. You come in again, the phrase always with a smile on your face. You're kind to everybody else. I think that's really true. You show good manners and you're an excellent role model. So well done, Harry. We're really proud of you. That's fantastic to see. Into the Redwoods. I know Mr. Flynn had a hard time choosing this week, but well done to you, Sienna McCartney. Sienna, you have got a lovely positive attitude. It's the type of thing that rubs off on people. Anybody with a really good positive outlook on life, it rubs off, uh, rubs off on everybody else. And everybody else feels a bit better when they spend time around smiley, happy people than people who see the world as a bit gloomy and a bit sad. So that's lovely, Sienna. Well done. You're Lovely to have in the class. You're kind, you're helpful. Mr. Flynn and Miss Bellamy are really proud of you. Well done to you. And moving into the Poplars class. I saw this piece of work earlier in the week and uh, Mrs. Wheeler was so proud of it. So Elsie Barker, you produced this beautiful map. It was beautifully drawn. It was about what the ladybird heard and your pictures were very, very intricate. You took a long time and a lot of care making your pictures look really, really nice. I know you love your art, Elsie, and it was really, really lovely to see. And you also, you've learned a bit of a strategy. When you get a bit nervous or a bit anxious about something, you found a way to help yourself calm down and that's an excellent skill. So well done to you. That's really lovely. And finally, a, a, a person in the Pines class who we need to celebrate. So Mrs. Mrs. Hauser has chosen somebody who's been very brave. And this has taken a bit of time. And I hope what I saw this morning as well might be an even better indication of the future. So a big well done to Poppy. Poppy, you've been brave every day. You're getting a little bit braver about coming into school. It's a bit hard at the start, but actually now that you know what it's like, you'll be able to do it like that every single day. So well done to you. You love going to forest school. You love trying new experiences. 
is by the time you walk around to the classroom, you absolutely have a brilliant time. So really that moment when you cross over the gate, you've done it today and you've done it earlier in the week a few times. So let's go for it from Monday onwards. You're really, really good. Dad's ever so proud of you. And I know mum is too when you come in really bravely. Well done to you. Everybody, hope you have a terrific week end and uh, see you on Monday the 28th of September. Bye-bye for now.